Man, what a day. I gotta tell you, I love social media. I've been talking a lot about social media in the last few weeks on my channel, and we're gonna talk about it one more time today. Today's video is about wrapping up the social media conversation we've been having. I wanna cover some important areas, which are five areas for you that you need to understand when you're looking at social media for your business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, this is Adrian Boysell and welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. So grateful that you're here. If you could please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm trying to reach lots of people and it's been going pretty well so far. So if you could do me that favor, I'd really greatly appreciate it. So today's talk is about social media. We've talked a lot about social media, as I said, and I wanna cover five key areas about social media that I think are very important. So if you got a pen, you got a paper, bust those things out because you're gonna wanna write some of these things down. Number one, social media gives you social proof. It opens up the doors to actually build credibility when people are writing reviews or posting messages or posting comments. You can share social proof and you can get social proof. And that's gonna allow you to open up the door to the gatekeepers, get past the gatekeepers. It's gonna really build a lot of credibility for you. And it's gonna help you make more offers to more people at one time. Number two, social media can be a huge waste of time. As important as it is, social media can be a huge time suck. And as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a creative, you need to get as much of your time back as possible. If you're a graphic designer, creative person, you can spend hours and hours a day on Instagram, scrolling through, getting inspired and wasting time. That time is so valuable. That is time that you can never get back. The most important thing that you have, that you have to fight for is your time. So you need to set up your social media time and actually schedule it. I know this is probably a new concept for you, but schedule your social media time and you can break it up throughout the day. I actually took the Facebook app off of my phone. I only use it on the browsers on my mobile devices like my laptop and my, uh, my tablet here, but social media can be a huge time suck. And so you wanna make sure that you schedule that time and break up the social media time. You can have some personal time on social media, but if you're gonna do it for business, then you need to give yourself a time limit. I would say an hour a day and be specific about how you use that time, whether it's prospecting, building relationships, pouring into people, sending them messages. Messenger is also social media. So don't get that confused. It's important that you, you guard your time, that you protect your time, because every hour that you're on social media and you're not actually generating revenue, it's costing you money. And so you need to utilize the platform because it's very important for you to gain access to the big players in the industry, but you also need to be conscious and aware that you can lose a lot of your valuable time on social media. Number three, social media is changing. There are new platforms coming onto the market, things like TikTok and Clubhouse. Clubhouse is an amazing platform. It's basically like podcasting, but 24 seven, it almost ne well, it never shuts off. And you can jump into rooms and be part of the audience or be a speaker in that room. And you can actually build your brand and build your authority. The cool thing is if you stay ahead of the curve, like on platforms like Discord and other platforms, it's like getting in early on Facebook or MySpace as you can build a massive following very quickly. Every time I jump into Clubhouse now and, it, and I speak, I'm immediately getting 30, 40, 50, 100 followers on the platform every time I open my mouth. There's not a lot of places where you can do that. I've been able to go from zero to almost 400 people in a week, in one week's time. So you gotta get on Clubhouse. It's only available for iPhone users. You gotta get on TikTok. You wanna be on these platforms early on and jump on them quickly and build your name and build your brand because there's a lot of people jumping on there. And if you wait too late, it's gonna be really hard to build a following. Yeah, I made the mistake of waiting too long on YouTube and it's been very, very hard to build my following here. But it took me a year and I'm finally here and so I'm so grateful for that. But if I had jumped onto YouTube in 2012, 2013, I probably would have had a million, two million subscribers right by now. But I waited too long. And so when you jump into these things very quickly, like Clubhouse, like TikTok, and you take advantage of those platforms and utilize them to build your brand, you're gonna see huge, huge results. Which leads me to the next thing, and that's number four. Social media takes time and it takes consistency. If you don't have time and consistency, I've talked about consistency a lot. If you don't have the consistency to stay on the platforms and post to them regularly, daily, or at least three, four times a week, 
you're not gonna really be able to get the full potential that you can out of them. So making sure that you understand that whether it's on your Facebook page and it takes six to 12 months to actually get some momentum and build up the visibility on Facebook through Facebook pages because the visibility is so low now, or if you jump onto some of these other newer platforms, you can actually leverage those platforms and build a huge audience very, very quickly and position yourself as an authority by speaking in rooms, jumping from room to room. But I want you to understand that it's not just one time, it's day in and day out consistency. That's what's gonna really breed the huge success for you, whether it's in YouTube, whether it's in Facebook, whether it's in TikTok, these platforms are meant to be used consistently and they will reward you for that. They are designed for you to use them consistently. I recently found out from somebody that actually works at YouTube that they only consider once a week posting as an active channel. So as long as you post once a week on your channel, they consider that to be an active YouTube channel. So if you wanna build a YouTube following, that's a really good way to do it. It's just at least post once a week. But if you do it that way, you're probably gonna to have to post once a week for like 120 weeks or something. I don't even know the math there, but probably a couple of years. It's gonna take you a lot longer. So the more consistent you are, if you do daily YouTube videos, you're gonna pick up traction a lot quicker. So be consistent. It's not just about consistent on social media, but it's in every aspect of your life. Consistency is gonna help you win. All right, and number five, you need to remember and understand that social media, like the actual name and the terminology and what it is today is still new. The internet is still pretty new. We're only about 20, 25 years in. So if you think about it from that perspective, think about where we're gonna be in another 20 to 25 years. Things are really going to evolve, change, grow, and it's important that you understand that social media, as important as it is, and it's a must in your business, you gotta leverage those platforms to drive traffic. That's what social media is about at the end of the day, is driving traffic to things that you own and control. Okay, as these platforms continue to evolve and change and privacy laws and all these things happen, you're going to start to realize that you don't have control. Five years ago, Facebook pages were getting massive exposure, massive visibility, because they were trying to build that part of it. And then it jumped over to groups. So social media is always changing and always evolving. Now there's marketplaces. A bunch of people have abandoned Craigslist and they've gone over to the Facebook marketplace. So it's always changing. So you're gonna have to stay up with the times and you're gonna have to remember that as these new platforms emerge, these other ones are gonna start to try to steal some of those concepts and those visions and the things that those people are doing, like the clubhouses and some of those other things. And they're gonna try to incorporate them into theirs. So for me, that just adds credibility but I want you to understand that social media is always changing, always growing, always evolving, and you need to take control of those traffic sources and funnel them back to things that you own, like your website, like your blog, like your other channels that you have, that you actually own, your digital assets. Because if they pull the plug on it, they get shut down, they get bought out, they take things away, you're gonna lose that traffic. And so that's an important lesson I want you to take away from this. I want you to understand how important social media is for your business, it is an absolute must. These five things will really help you if you have a good foundation and you read and you go through the other social media videos that I did, you'll get a ton of value from this and you can really leverage social media to make you millions of dollars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always enjoy these videos with you guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. My name is Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.